a lot of parallels, but few people actually know the history of Finland outside of Finland, and even sometimes Russia. Thanks for the answer for the video. Let me comment on that. We're actually mislead here in some of the cases, but let's go through your video. So a little history. So basically, Finland was not its own country. It was part of Russia, the Russian Revolution. Finland became its own country. And then they had a... We got our independence 1917. And before that, Finland was called as a Grand Duchy of Finland, which was had high autonomy inside Russia. The first bet that autonomy was really good, but the later part there was this Russification actions where the Russia started to like uh, take uh, rights of the Finland. But then he actually got our independence. Certain border and then they came took some more of Russia because they wanted that. There was a little bit of back and forth. Actually, I don't know what you mean here, but after the independence, we did have a civil war. Basically here in Finland, white against the Reds, like it was in also in Russia. The communists against uh, whites. And uh, there was some troops after the Finnish civil war participating in this Russian civil war. And, and that did end 1920, when there was a peace of Tarto. And after that, Soviet Union and Finland were living under the peace, peaceful relations. And then in 1939, 20 years later, it's not kind of familiar when Ukraine gained, 20, 30 years later, Russia said, well, we need a little bit of that land back. Not a whole lot, a little bit. You know, some of the stuff you took from us after we gave you independence, or after you earned independence. And Finland said, no, let's go to war. So they both are going totally wrong here. Finland never wanted to let's have a war. Actually, the reason was there that Soviet Union and Nazi Germany had pact, signed August 1939, where they split Eastern Europe to half. And result of that, Soviet Union attacked Finland. We fight 100 days, and then there was a danger that UK and France and other powers will, will get involved in the war against Soviet Union. So we got the peace. Lost 10% of our territory at that time. And 10% of Finnish population lost their homes because they had to flee from that area to inner Finland. Yet harassments towards us didn't stop there. And the funny thing was that actually Germany came to us because they realized that we fought hard. So they wanted to be with us also and involve us to their attack to the Soviet Union. That was a continuation war war with, where we fight together with Germany. Not as a strict allied, but together. And 1944, the war was really bad in Germany, in the Eastern Front, and uh, we want to make peace with the Soviets. There was things that we did during the continuation war. Something like uh, there was the siege of Leningrad. It wasn't totally watertight because the Finnish front. And Germany, because they didn't have troops at the north, they only have troops at the south. So they couldn't strangle that much as they could. And um, another thing was that Finland, we never cut this Murmansk railroad. My understanding was that we had chance to cut it. We sometimes explode trains, the, the things like that. But also my understanding is that the United States did message to Finland. We are not allowed to cut it because United States and Finland didn't have a war during the continuation war. So we had actually diplomatic relationship on that time. 1944 came, we actually fought against, we draw, we gave back to the land to Soviet and also paid some on top of that and some other territories. You were right on that. And, uh, but Allied troops never got to Finland and Stalin knew that. We fought hard and uh, 
Stalin actually got respect for that fight. And the Soviets also knew that after Tali Ihantala, the grand biggest battle in the Nordic countries, there were still more kings to fight. There was Salpalain. There was uh, arms hidden the guerrilla war inside Finland. Most important thing for the Soviets not taking Finland was probably that they want to have uh, resources to attack the Germany because there was still almost a year to war left. They went to war, they both lost a lot of people. The Russian side lost a lot of people too. But in the end, Finland realized, hey, we can't keep doing this. And, you know, so let's uh, come to an agreement. <laughs> Your attitude here is like, we cannot keep these doing. It's like we want to have a war with the Soviet. Nobody wants us having war with anybody. We were a democratic country. And democratic countries, the thing is that we are really hard to go to war. And, but anyways, around... 86,000 Finnish soldiers died dead during the World War II, 1939 to 1945. And around half a million dead Soviet soldiers died in the Finnish front. Not so many civilian casualties in Finland because country wasn't occupied. And basically our political system and everything democratic system was similar after the war as during the war and before the war so we were still as a free country and they had to give more land to Russia the Soviet Union than they originally asked for and then they eventually signed a peace treaty and the treaty basically said well Finland needs to remain neutral you need to guarantee that no one you will not allow anybody to invade Russia through your territory and do things like that, then Russia and Finland got along pretty good. Basically, after the peace treaty, there was basically this uh, political line we had, Pasiti Kekkonen, and we had this cooperation agreement with Soviet Union, and we paid for damages for the Soviet Union a lot. We had to build industries, etc. But that at, at the end actually did turn out to be good because we actually got training partners from the Soviet Union. The Union was a really good training partner. They had this five-year plans. They like planned everything. We, we need this much for this stuff and this much, this much for this stuff. So they ordered like uh, for five years. And then after five years, they ordered again and again. And with Finland, there was no competition. So it was really good training partner after that. And even today, I mean, they're strained a little bit, but they're not looking to, you know, fight each other. So there's a lot about current relationships between Finland and Russia. I think the, our relations with Russia, current Russian government, is the worst since World War II. And this is just because of their full-scale invasion into Ukraine. Uh, we did join NATO because of that. We have seen that. When this uh, lunatic leader comes to Russia, it's not good to be alone. Winter War showed us. And 1944, when I explained, it was much better fight when we got help from Germany. That is the reason why we help a lot Ukraine also right now. Finland back. They left Helsinki alone and then Finnish people had their country. Same as with us, within Ukraine right now. Somebody said, Stalin, Helsinki. And Stalin said, I don't get it. And we Finns said, yes, you won't.